Today we need lemons. Now I set the hubby off to go and get them about 20 minutes ago. Where the hell's he disappeared to? Today we're making lemon curd. You need 125 grams of butter, one cup of caster sugar, four size six eggs, and four medium sized lemons. Now to make our lemon curd, we have to use a double boiler. So that basically means I've got a pot here with some water already on the boil, and then I'm going to turn it down so it's just simmering, and then I'm going to use a bowl to put that on the top. So all we want is the steam to actually heat up, so it's a slower way of cooking your curd without it getting all scrambled eggs. Firstly, I'm going to put the butter in, put the sugar, and then I have to zest and juice four lemons. And now add the zest and juice of four lemons. Now I'm going to put it on. I've put the bowl on top of the pot now, so what I'm doing is melting the butter and dissolving the sugar. Now you can see it's all melted and the sugar is dissolved, I can tell by the feel. So I'm going to take that off. I've slightly whisked actually my four eggs like so. So a good whisk. Now I'm going to use that, not a wooden spoon now. And I'm going to whisk the eggs into this mixture. And keep whisking as you're adding. So So it's all incorporated in. Now I've got myself a sieve and another bowl. I'm going to strain that, this mixture into that bowl. I uh, meant to be a non-metallic one, but I don't have one, so um, I'll always use that one, and it works fine. So I'm going to strain it now. Yes, so. This will get rid of the zest and any stringy bits from the eggs if you haven't whisked it properly. And then I'm going to quickly wash this, transfer this back into the air, put it back onto the pot and tell you what to do next. Now I'll put this bowl back on and we cook it over a low heat. Now we don't want to boil the mix otherwise it will curdle. So we just want to put it on a nice slow gentle heat. And we just have to keep continuously stirring and keep an eye on it. Um, once it's ready, it will thicken up. In the meantime, you can turn your oven on. I'm going to put these in sterilised jars. So I've got my oven at 150. And I'm just going to leave them in there for a while. And then as this mixture comes to almost thicken, I'm going to turn the oven off and let the jars just cool down a little bit. Well, we're not too well. When I say not too far away, you can see now it's starting to slowly, well, starting to slowly thicken. So this might take a few more minutes, maybe another five, not more than ten more minutes. Um, especially when you're working with gas, gas will do it quite quickly. Just got to be very careful, like I said, um, not to have your water boiling, otherwise it will start to curdle. If it does and you catch it at the right time, give it a quick whisk and then put it back on and just keep stirring it. This, at this stage, you've got to keep stirring the mixture. 
Sometimes on the really big jobs, you need to call in the subs or the professionals. This is behind the scenes that no one tends to see a husband do. You get tired. Step away from there. Just like to thank the Academy. What for? Thanks New Zealand on air. What for? For giving us nothing but air. Okay, here you go. Yep. Going uh, anti-clockwise. Get off. Alright, there you go. You can see it's started to actually thicken up quite nicely now. There's a mic up there. There's it. Damn, perfect. Well, that's how I like my lemon curd before I actually put it into the jar. Now, you can use lemon curd for all sorts of stuff. You can, um, if you're feeling really game enough, you can make yourself some brioche and then spread it on brioche. But um, you can add these to muffins. Um, you can use them in fillings for donuts if you make your own donuts. Um, you can mix it in through cream and some cream fresh to give it a bit more um, taste. So there you go. My lemon curd is now ready. I'm going to take this off the pot. I've already turned that off. I'll put that, leave that to cool for about a couple of minutes. Then I'm going to grab my jars out of the oven, which I've turned off about five minutes ago. I'm going to pull them out in a minute, leave them on the bench, let them cool a little bit more, and then I'm going to add this into the jars. Okay, now, the moment of truth, let's see, I'm going to pour this, I think most of that will go into there, so I'm just going to pour that in, oh it hasn't cracked, there you go, so we just left it for about five minutes pretty much, and there you go, you can see actually how it's starting to thicken now already, so once it cools down it'll thicken down quite nicely. Uh, director calls cut. cut. You don't call cut. You just, uh, cut. You just cut. leave that to the director to say cut. Cut. Okay, cut everybody. <laughs>